Okay, I'm starting with the assembling instructions. First of all, we have the power supply. After that, we have the USB-C cable for uh, data supply. Also, we have the motors on the main platform. And we have the components holding the, the head with the pen, with the saddle motor and the other end. Now we have the X uh, axis. The first instruction is how we are assembling uh, the shorter the shorter components they are 15 centimeters to the, this component which is done like this I suppose this is the instruction we have to follow short roads because I see that longer should be supplied on the X on the Y axis and we are adding the ascending here after that I need to um, assemble the main platform like this like this okay it's not very smooth but it is a printed uh, device do it yourself device after that I think it's pretty simple way to assemble it I need to fix the other side like this It's not very stable, but I think I can handle it. It's a very cheap, cheap uh, implementation of the CNC machine. Uh, uh, and even that is cheap, I suppose that it's going to work much better when, than with what I have from the other, uh, the other devices similar to this one. Okay, it was the step, the third step. The fourth step is related with the Y axis, and we put the rods here like this. It seems that it should be done like this. After that, we have the main platform, and we need to put the rods like this. Okay. It looks like almost like on the picture five. Um, the assembly should be careful. I'm, I'm not a very skilled person, and the assembling for me <laughs> it's nightmare. After that, we need to put the other side. It is the pen holder with the servo motor for controlling the pen up and down it's a very nice servo motor because I see that I can rotate it on full cycle which is pretty nice because I'm not going to wonder which is the mm, correct position at the moment I'm going to put it like this and I hope that it's enough now I'm going to it's a pretty small device in fact compared with what you usually see in the those kind of CNC do-it-yourself machines okay I, I have the main components assembled as you can see the X, Y and X axis and the Y axis it's pretty light one it's not very heavy, heavy one. Now, the next step is we to 
do the wiring. It's very nice that the wiring here is not complicated at all. The only thing that we can make wrong is the direction of the save cable. It is written that the order is brown, red, yellow, which is very common for uh, several machines as uh, wiring cables. And I suppose I'm going to make it correct. I hope so. I also hope that I'm not going to damage the device if the order is not correct. But I will check it twice. Okay. This is the connection. Ah, the quality of the printed image is not very high. But I'm almost confident that brown, red, yellow is the order in which I need to put the servo motor. And the final step for this assembling, you can see the micro switches here when you hit the, the main platform. And also we have, we have another micro switch for the X, y, uh, X uh, axis, like here, okay, and the next step for assembling, I'm a little bit curious why it's so near to the table, but I suppose it should be like this, I suppose so. I, I don't like it. I don't like that it's touching the the table. Maybe when I'm operating it, I'm going to put it on some platform just to give more space between the plotting area. As you can see, the servo cable is a little under tension. This one is also, I don't like it very much. Maybe I'm going to use extending, uh, extending the cable. The final step is to put the the belt and the belt ah it will be very interesting how the belt can be installed let me check i have two sides and it should be something like keeping the, the teeth of the belt inside in order to touch mm, to touch the motors now it should be outside something like this difficult to assemble. The space is very small. But I think I can do it, yes. And I suppose it should go like this. Like this. And after that I need to make it in this way. Yep. Something like this. After that, I'm going to do it similar on the other side. I don't think that the board is uh, Arduino. It is some um, Arduino compatible uh, controller. Okay, we have the symmetric shape. And after that, I can get it like this. Okay, it was not done very symmetrically, but I can adjust it a little bit. I will try to make it symmetric from both sides. Maybe I can put some position like this. Okay, 
and it was written in the instructions in internet that the tension should not be very hard on the belt that's why I will try to make it smoother okay and okay maybe I can handle it first the side with the servo wiring like this and after that I can put some tension to get the other end uh, also very well uh, fix it in, in fact it was very uh, very smart printed parts because the belt is precisely measured and now we can see that I have it with uh, minimum attachments and adjustments it was perfect aligned in fact it is a very smart design because we see that the belt is with the perfect length and I'm not very confident that uh, it's okay me to to push like this <coughs> because we know that there are some uh, induction during the uh, movement of the motors and I'm not very sure that uh, it is safe and I'm not going to damage the, the device uh, in fact the belt is working in the when I use the same uh, the same direction it moves X and when I use the opposite directions it moves the Y axis like this okay I'm going to, to move it very very uh, slowly in order if it is there some danger to you see the micro switch was pressed and uh, with very small movements I hope that I'm not going to damage the controller or the um, stepper motor drivers what is specific for, for this kind of CNC machines is that uh, the Z ax is controlled by a uh, servo motor and the servo control, controlling is done with specific uh, uh, library it is very interesting that we have uh, protection switches only on one one side you can see the protection switch is only on this side and there is no protection switch on the other side and it is the same with the X uh, with the uh, Y ax we have protection switch here but we don't have protection switch on the other side also we have maybe this is the design and it's going to work like this